What's going on everybody? Chrome on Rust here. So I want to briefly talk about a thread that's pretty much ongoing as we speak and it's been up for the past 17 hours. The title is, if you have not already you know, cheated, jumped ahead and read it yourself, I took the number one DH ranking on the US region and I cheated. So this is kind of disclaimer time because this guy is going to be talking about a program that he uses and he calls it cheating. He's openly admitting to using this program. He took the number one rank. The thread's been up for 17 hours. No blues have posted on it. And that's just it. We don't know what further actions or if there are going to be actions taken against this player. Do not go out looking for this program. Just don't even worry about it. Just check the forms. Keep up to date with what their particular stance is going to be on this. They can't ignore it forever, in my opinion. This is something that they need to be talking about, just like multiboxing. It was a touchy subject, but, you know, they came out and said, multiboxing is legal. Which is exactly what this reminded me of when I started reading through this was when the whole multiboxing thing came out and was it legal and was it not legal? If you don't know what multiboxing is, you buy four copies of Diablo 3, four copies of ROS, you run all four of them simultaneously, and then you run a program that allows you to run, you know, four characters at the exact same time. You join up the same game and you basically start loot sharing with yourself in a group of four players. You know, you run the same character, you got so much more chance. At getting that really epic loot now that system is totally legal in diablo 3 and actually developers are using multi-boxing travis day had an interview or something a couple weeks ago or months i should say probably now it's been a little while and he openly admitted to using multi-boxing he's like yeah i got like my four crusaders they're all using checking boards and i just like spam my shields all over the map and it's a total blast it gives that player an advantage, or that developer in this case, who is a player still, you know, an advantage over players who are not able to do this. They don't want to purchase four copies. Their computer's too slow. Whatever the case may be, their internet can't keep up. It gives them an advantage over the rest of the community who's not using that particular program. So getting into this exact one, it is a, it's a HUD. I'm not going to read through all of this. The link to this thread will be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But this is a HUD or an overlay, however you want to look at it. It does not alter Diablo 3 in any way. It just takes the data that Diablo 3 processes, it spews out, and your computer reads it, you know, and through this program. And it puts an overlay over your screen. And well, the minimap, talking a bit about what exactly this does, it shows where every monster is in the local area and the map itself. You know, anything that's been loaded. This gives me an unfair advantage an unfair advantage over a player that doesn't use turbo hud because i can make better decisions on how to engage monsters so once again just because this guy threw out the name of the program please don't go looking for it you may get your account banned and it's just not worth it wait for official word because i'm going to be talking about it a bit later but the second thing that this is going to be doing in addition to that is monster overlay this allows you to or tells you what the elite affixes are on certain monsters before you actually engage them. So it tells you like where the monsters are and if they're elites, it's gonna be telling you what the affixes are for that particular mob. Pretty overpowered stuff. You know, you're encountering a dead end, you know it's gonna be a dead end, but it's kind of a dense area you wanna go check, but you don't have to clear the outer edges of the screen now because this program is gonna be loading and showing you if there's monsters over there or not. Pretty overpowered. Now, my opinions getting into it, it's not necessarily cheating. It could be, but it's not actually altering Diablo 3 in any way. All the terms of service and the policy agreements and all that, that you just scroll down to the bottom, you hit accept. There are things inside of that that say you're not allowed to alter our game in any way. You're not allowed to use a program that inter interfaces with Diablo 3. You're not allowed to macro. You know, you're not allowed to macro in Diablo 3, but you're allowed to multi-box in Diablo 3. It's it's a very gray area. Where they draw the line is kind of, I guess, their moral stance in gaming. You know, not like their livelihood moral stance, but their moral stance in gaming. Now, this may not even be detectable legally from what this guy's thread says that, you know, they cannot even know about this. Or they may know about it, but they have no way to detect it. So will they be able to take action against something like this? If that's the case, no. And if that is the case, should they allow everyone to use it? I guess so. Do I want to see Diablo 3 go this way? 
No, I really don't want to see everybody using a HUD for Diablo 3, but if that's the way that it goes, you know, you're just, to keep up with the times, to compete in leaderboards and all that, you're just going to have to use this HUD and just kind of accept it. Really would like to see it not go this way, but I didn't want to see multiboxing become a thing either. If anything, let us use a couple macros or something like that so we don't have to spam our buttons like 20 times. We just hit one and you know, it repeats them a couple times for us. I would like to see players be able to do that before I'd like to see HUDs that tell you where all the monsters are and things like that. So that's my particular stance on it. As I said, wait and see what happens. I'll be keeping you up to date on this just a little bit, whether it's at the end of one of my regular videos or just, you know, if it's really something interesting and they start allowing this, then yeah, we're going to be having another video on this for sure. I would like to hear what you think. You know, everybody's particular opinions on systems like this are always different. You know, what what's your moral stance in gaming? Post that in the comments if you'd like to. So I'll be reading through them. Now, the last thing that I'm going to be talking about is going to be, there's actually a live hotfix now. And the number of rare crafting materials that drop from monsters, including Rift Guardians, has been greatly increased. This just happened yesterday. So some pretty exciting stuff because I know I was running out of the Veiled Crystals myself. And they're going to be dropping much more often and from Rift Guardians. And hopefully, you know, we'll be able to burn through those blues and whites as well. So that's going to be it for me. I am Chrome on Rust for Core Expert Gaming. Once again, post in those comments if you have an opinion on this matter because, you know, it, it's interesting. I definitely have my opinions. Would like to see it not go the way of the HUDs. But that's just me. I'm Chrome on Rust for Core Expert Gaming. I'm out of here, and you all have a great day.